facing now longtime UFC heavyweight contender Sergei Spivak. He had a main event against Cyril Gaon in Paris in September of 2023. And that was the litmus test that a lot of people think he was going to pass. He was unable to get it done that night. He has gone back to the well. He has worked on his striking. Most people are not going to be able to stop this man from taking them down. And a lot of them aren't going to be able to get up either. He has worked very hard on his game at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. He has a nice kinship with Dewey Cooper. And now we'll see just how elite Sergey Spivak can be. Tonight is one he's got to have. have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000-plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Tags him with the uppercut. Tries to work it into a takedown. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Pretty good head kick there. All right, so the classic style is a matchup here, wrestler versus boxer, and that is not the way the boxer wanted to start. A beautiful takedown by the wrestler to get things done. The boxer needed to defend takedown number one. He did not do that, so expect many more takedowns going in his direction. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Inside, he got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Spivak's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds. No healing out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Oh, man, the counters on point all night. There's the overhand left. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Nice great punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. Closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Hook, battle in. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, they're trading. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot, that will finish the fight. way with him here. Oh, great reverse. 
reversal to top position by Spivak. This works. I'm going to you up. You need to work. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Huge knee lands in the boat. All right, so now we start to see some... Oh, my God. All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Spiva. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. This is a terrible position. Under a minute now to go in the round. Saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Spivak's back in full mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Fifteen seconds to go. No limitations to his ground and pound, and he goes to the elbow now. Caught him with that one. That was a very nice elbow. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Round two is next. All right, all right. Listen. Breathe. Relax. You need to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. We want you to avoid that takedown. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is underway. Defense doesn't win championships, but I know you liked what you saw out of him fighting off of his back there in the previous round. Well, you can't be on your back just getting brutalized. And he did a fantastic job of limiting the damage from the bottom. Was able to control his opponent's oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big shots being landed. Shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he's been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. Trying for a submission here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, somehow, someway, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. His work, I'm gonna stand this up. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy, I am. <laughs> All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Choi's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Making all these shots count. Oh, he's attacking guillotine. 
Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. This has got to be the end of the fight. It's over. Well, some high-level grappling here. That Ooh, sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock, rolling to your back, giving up the mouth. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. This is where he wants to be. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Spivak. Another ground and pound strike lands. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Choice right back to the full mount here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Choice has got full mount now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be. Spivak's trying for a submission here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. I thought it was over. I thought oh, the fight was over. Round three next. Stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. You ready to fight? I'm just saying. He's got a ready. big mouth. <laughs> Third round underway. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique. But it only takes one time to check it. Right. And you're right, it's over. Or you get it up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Beautiful. Spivak gets the single leg takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Gotta be careful here. Setting up a submission. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He may finish this fight by submission. Oh, he's out. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Hard.
hard punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Fighters separate from the clinch now. Unable to connect this. And a nice job at least staying upright on this. And just misses with that big right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Takedown defense is there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, beautiful. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Takedown defense holds up. Right now they separate. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that far one arm and guide that kick so you don't take all of them. Tags him with that uppercut. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get worse. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas can. Swing and a miss by Shaw. Oh! He's in trouble. Throwing punches. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful transition. Takes his back now. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. He's back in the clinch. Watch the knees to start to come down. 15 seconds. Nice. Nicely done. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Upper cup lands. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five. Five minutes. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Oh, nice leverage. Trying to recover full guard there. Plans a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Shore. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, great reversal to top position by Choi. Getting them all here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Choi's right back to the full mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, there he goes. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice knees to the body. Another thwack there to the outside of that lead leg. Takedown defense holds up. Three minutes to go. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Spivak gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. There it is. Now he's going to mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab or pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, big left. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, watch out for the setup here, DC. I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you begging me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. I don't see, know. See. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can push me up with your words. Spivak's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look from the start to make mistakes. Trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just Ready not fight. really paying attention on Ready. the defensive side has made Ready. his opponent 
looked like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Spiva. Nice job again inside and gets a single collar tie. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. Oh, they call it. He's going in the fight. Back to the feet now. Both fighters throwing heat now. into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go headhunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him with the body next week. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so the cut really starting to open up. Oh, my God! He's got he's got oh, Dude, oh, joy! As many style points as you could produce! Whoa! What a performance! Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight.